Well, I mean, we had a black lavender dog for about 10 years, and of course, you know, um, we, we had to put it down. And um, I did say after that that that's it, I don't really want any other dogs at all, <laughs> because it was quite painful, obviously. And then about three or four months later, I, I'd been out for the day and I came home. And when I came back, and this little fella was running around. Uh, and in the day, my wife and daughters had been to a rescue centre, a local rescue centre, and had brought Bailey back with them. Um, it took us a long time to gel because he was really in, really in a bad way. His condition was was very poor, he was very, very thin, and he was really hostile to me. I went to see the vet, and the vet said, it'll come, it'll come, but whatever you do, avoid any eye contact with him. And I came home from work one day, avoiding his look, and I sat on the settee, and he jumped up and put his head on my leg. I suppose, yeah, I suppose the, the trust had been developed then, and you know, uh, this probably sounds a bit corny to people who don't have an affiliation with dogs, but he's more than a pet. He literally is one of the family. Yes, he's, uh, he is. He, yeah. he has, as long as he has his walk every day, as long as he has his food, because he's a bit food obsessed, isn't he? He goes and fetches his lead. Yeah. yeah. As soon as he comes home from work, and yeah. he's tired after yeah. a day's work, yeah. and he comes along then with the lead. Come on. Take me. Yes, yes. And that's good because he does, you know, he does get you out of the house. You know, it's good. Yeah. And when we were away, we well, looked after him for three weeks. Of course, I'm quite used to him, you see, and he's used to me. So he was quite happy being with me. Um, we got on well, didn't we? So he was quite happy. He, and, you know, he was at home. And um, we had treats, didn't we? Oh yes, extra treats. And, uh, um, yes. I don't know what she gave him. I think you gave him rabbit, whatever. <laughs> when we got home. Well, I had to spoil him yeah. a bit because he was missing the family, didn't you? He had to put so. up with me then. But yeah, you have to be a bit unselfish sometimes. Sometimes you just don't feel like taking them out. <laughs> but I mean, he's a big dog, he's got up his walk, and, and he just lives for his walk, literally, doesn't he? When he knows he's going out, uh, he's yes. just, he just, he gets so excited. Yes, he does. Yeah. He just jumps on you, he's really pleased to see you. Yeah, yeah, he gives yeah. you a good welcome. He does, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He gives you so much affection. He's our dog, isn't he? Mm. He's our, he's part of us, yes. Yeah. Very, very th therapeutic in my experience. Mm. Oh, certainly, for, the, for both parties. For both parties, yeah. I think they give, they give you more than what you give, yes, they do.